Welcome to another video lecture on data detection using controlled ISI transmission. In the last couple of video lectures, we have seen data detection for duo binary signals with precoding and without precoding. We took few cases to understand and analyze them better. So we try to transmit a bit sequence using duo binary signaling and try to introduce in that process a controlled intersymbol interference and we try to eliminate at the receiver okay so this video lecture deals with uh, an extension of it or modified version of it which is modified duo binary signaling we'll take first modified duo binary coding without pre-coding as you know the advantage of or the disadvantage of uh, without pre-coding is about error propagation irrespective of whether it is duo binary or modified duo binary so modified duo binary differs with the duo binary with the aspect of signal samples. So samples are defined as one and minus one alternatively. So for n is equal to minus one, it is plus one, and n is equal to one, for n is equal to one, it is minus one. So alternatively, we are intentionally adding a sample so as to have controlled intersymbol interference. So this is done in detail in, uh, uh, in earlier videos. Samples at the output of the receiving filter uh, will have the form of uh, uh, ym is equal to bm. So the gamma m is nothing but again is a colored noise we are going to uh, ignore uh, for the time being. So bm is nothing but combination of two binary symbols and hence it's a duo binary combination of two symbols. But the combination of alternate symbols one is im and there is im minus two unlike the case with uh, simple duo binary coding this is the difference with modified duo binary okay what is the advantage of this the modified duo binary has an advantage of eliminating high energy at dc okay try to eliminate that as you see the energy at t is equal to zero or f is equal to zero is, is zero unlike with the simple duo binary coding the transmitted sequence, as you know, is plus and minus one for two PAM case, so which can be extended to any other uh, level of uh, modulation scheme. And gamma M, as I mentioned, which is ignored for time being. Unlike IM and IM minus one, it's a combination of IM and IM minus two. It's a similar to your uh, simple geometric coding. The addition of these two will generate either plus two or minus two or zero with equal probability of distribution. Uh, this is how we can say that individual symbols at the transmission will have uh, the probabilities of uh, 1 by 4 each for plus and minus 2 and half for binary 0. Uh, so this is transmitted and uh, detected at the receiver with a simple detection rule where we are going to keep reference as im minus 2. Earlier it was reference was im minus 1 and then we try to subtract subsequently. Okay, so we're going to state reference as i minus 2 and try to subtract. Again, the same problem exactly like uh, simple duo binary coding uh, with respect to the error propagation. This has no you know, much difference with the simple duo binary coding. So we'll quickly you know, get into the second aspect of it to eliminate this error propagation. We try to introduce a precoder. So modified duo binary without precoder is exactly uh, similar with uh, duo binary without uh, oh, sorry, with precoder there's a correction here so with precoder uh, so we'll have user binary data and precoded binary data and energy data with a modified duo binary uh, which has a representation uh, as dm pm im and bm respectively the only difference with uh, uh, sing simple duo binary with precoder uh, is that we are going to add with PM minus 2 unlike PM minus 1 in case of simple duo binary. So DM is taken, it's a first bit which is taken and added the modulo 2 addition with respect to PM minus 2, the alternate symbol. And the algorithm is update, updated as and when uh, the, in, the binary data is inputted to uh, the input of pre-coded binary data block. The only difference here is there are two references unlike the simple duo binary uh, encoder. So in case of uh, modified duo binary, 
So we have got PM minus 1 and PM minus 2 are as two references. As you can see here itself, uh, for M is equal to 1, this is D1, which is the first bit. Exalt or modulo 2 added with PM minus 1. So PM minus 1 is the first reference. And when M is equal to 2, uh, is it D2, exalt with PM minus 2, which is P0, right? So there are two references here. PM minus 1 and PM minus 2. So when M is equal to 1, so you need to have two references to generate that first two sequences of first two bits of the sequence. Once you generate the peer coded binary data, this has to be modulated using NRZ principle. So IM will have either plus 1 or minus 1. So PM is either 1 or uh, 0. So accordingly, IM will be plus 1 or minus 1. And this is uh, transmitted as a modified duo binary. BM is combination, in fact, if you have seen that modified duo binary is subtraction of two sync pulses. Two, one is one right shifted, another is left shifted sync pulse. Uh, you may check the earlier video lecture where we discussed detail about the modified duo binary uh, signal, where it was combination of two sync pulses. One is right shifted, another is left shifted, and subtraction of those two. Right? So exactly the same principle is uh, involved here. So it's subtraction or uh, modulo 2 subtraction of IM and IM minus 2, which will generate modified DO binary. The simple DO binary was sim uh, simply IM plus IM minus 1. Okay, that's a major difference involved with modified DO binary uh, transmission. So substituting IM as 2M, 2 PM minus 1, IM minus 2 as 2 PM minus 2 minus 1, of the mathematically, you know, minus one and plus one will get cancelled with each other and it will be retained with twice of PM minus PM minus two. What is PM minus PM minus two? As you can see, the used uh, binary data uh, uh, has generated the pre-coded binary sequence, which is subtraction of PM and PM minus two will give us DM, which is a user binary data. So this PM minus PM minus two can be placed with uh, DM and hence we'll have relation for uh, uh, all uh, signal points at different instances of transmission. Okay, so DM is nothing but now half PM. Okay. So we can get back the original binary data with this. So this will give us uh, the decision rule or the detection rule at the receiver part. As you know, BM uh, can have uh, uh, the three levels. Either BM can be plus or minus two or zero. So whenever BM is plus or minus two, we are going to detect it as one. And when BM is equal to zero, we are going to detect it as zero. Okay. So BM generated using these two combination, PM and PM minus two could be either zero or one. So when PM is one and this is zero, it is going to two, it's going to be two. It's, when PM is zero and PM minus two is one, it's going to be minus two. And when these two are equal with each other, BM is zero. So BM, which is actually modified duo binary transmission, will have plus or minus two or zero. So wherever there is plus or minus two, we are going to decode it as one. And whenever uh, BM is zero, we are going to decode it as binary zero. So our receiver logic is very simple now. So whenever YM, the magnitude of YM is zero, uh, in a sense when BM is zero, we are going to detect it as zero. Otherwise, if it is greater than zero or less than zero or whatever, if it's non-zero, we are going to decode it as one. So this is going to be our detection rule for modified duo binary with pre-coding. Okay, please make the correction here. So in this, uh, this is uh, uh, with pre-coding. So uh, please make it uh, uh, sure that uh, uh, this particular video is with uh, uh, pre-coding for modified duo binary. All right. <clears throat> Uh, this is on the logic where uh, now IM has IM is detected when BM is transmitted. So BM is nothing but uh, IM minus IM minus 2. This is from the transmission logic itself. So it's subtraction of two sync uh, uh, pulses uh, which generates YM. So this is the uh, uh, statistic which will get generated at the output of the receiver from which uh, we are going to uh, decode it. So uh, the block diagram of transmission and uh, receiver is very simple to our uh, uh, simple geo binary uh, with pre-coding and without pre-coding. Only uh, the difference here is uh, uh, there is uh, uh, a pre-coder here, which is uh, 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 twice of delays of uh, uh, twice as much as twice as delay of each bit, 
which gets added with the modulo 2 addition and uh, using nrz it's going to be modulated and the receiver also we are going to utilize the same logic okay so that's how uh, we are going to generate modified duo binary using a precoder let's take an example uh, like we have done for a simple duo binary case uh, here, uh, since uh, uh, simple duo binary and modified duo binary without pre-coding are uh, much sim similar to each other, uh, I'll take an example with just a modified duo binary with pre-coder. Uh, that will summarize uh, about uh, the modified duo binary case. An example here uh, deals with a bit stream. Uh, in this video, I have taken this example. And again, uh, like with the previous case, we have considered the initial uh, sequence an initial uh, bit as uh, a reference which is not part of the data the dm is nothing but the input bit stream uh, which is same you know similar to the same uh, uh, given in the question itself pm uh, is generated how is it generated so as we have seen pm is generated as modulo 2 addition of uh, dm and pm minus 2 as have as i've told that it needs two references, PM minus one and PM minus two. And hence I have taken two references, PM minus one and PM minus two. Okay, this is PM. PM minus one and PM minus two have considered it as zero. So you can take uh, the reference as one as well. This is one case that uh, with which you know we have uh, tried to analyze. Uh, so for first addition, uh, it's uh, for the first bit, uh, when M is equal to one, it is D1 modulo 2 addition with when m is equal to 1 it is p minus 1 correct so p minus 1 is is 0 here so 0 plus 0 so this is you know there are two bit away from each other so 0 and 0 addition will give 0 so 0 and this 0 2 bit addition is 0 1 and 0 is 1 1 and 0 is 1 correct so 1 and 1. So this is 2 bit away from the current bit. So 1 plus 1 gives us 0. 0 plus 1 gives us 1. 1 and 0. Again, these are the two bit separated. 1 and 0 is 1. And it goes on until the last bit. That's how we are going to generate the modified duo binary sequence. Now the next block is NRZ block, NRZ modulation all zeros are represented as minus one or all zeros are modulated as minus one all ones are modulated as plus one so wherever there is zero we are represented as minus one wherever there is one we have represented as plus one this is the sequence this is a modified duo binary with pre-coding so modified duo binary with pre-coding is this sequence which is thrown into the channel without any AWGN, just an ISI, which is actually which is introduced at the transmitter itself. ISI is introduced in the transmitter. It's a controlled ISI introduced in the transmission where we have taken addition of two binary symbols and hence it is duo binary. So addition of two symbols has given inter symbol interference at the transmitter itself. So without any AWGN, this is the sequence uh, that is obtained at the receiver. So how we are going to demodulate? How we are going to demodulate? The demodulate uh, combination is nothing but subtraction of IM with IM minus 2 without any colored noise. So subtraction in the sense it is modulo 2 subtraction of IM and IM minus 2 which are 2 bit away from each other. Again we will start with the first sequence. So minus 1. Minus 1 should be subtracted with this minus 1 because this is you know, 2 bit away. So minus 1 minus of minus 1 which gives us 0 so for this bit it's minus 1 minus of minus 1 which will give us 0 so for this bit 1 minus of minus 1 plus 2 for this instant 1 minus of minus 1 which is plus 2 and so on so minus 1 minus 1 will give us minus 2 and so on until the last bit sequence this is going to be generated at the sampled output of the receiver how we are going to detect or how we are going to demodulate our, uh, our signal we are going the demodulation rule or detection rule is that detect it as zero if magnitude of y is zero detect it as one otherwise 
okay when magnitude of uh, y or the sample output of the receiver is greater than 0 or less than 0 in the sense the level of the sample if it is greater than 0 or less than 0 detect it as 1 in the in here case plus or minus 2 is detected as 1 and 0 is detected as 0 and as you can see it exactly matches with our transmitted sequence that's how we are going to transmit modify duo binary with precoder and we are going to detect at the receiver this with error will not propagate exactly similar with duo binary with precoding i have not considered a case here but it's a very similar example we may repeat at this point as well for modified duo binary with precoder wherein the error will not propagate okay maximum error that will be occurring at the receiver is for maximum for two bits where there is no subsequent subtractions this is how uh, data is detected for controlled isi transmission for uh, a duo binary with precoding and without precoding modified duo binary with precoding and without precoding so this ends with the uh, third unit uh, with uh, signal transmission in band limited channel we have studied uh, several aspects and in next video i am going to summarize all those so that you will have a reference with you that uh, what were the key aspects that were discussed in the all earlier videos thank you